Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new playthrough of Dinkum. My name is Melanie B. Okay, let's start by creating a new character. And let's choose a hairstyle. Uh, we can go with this one. Kind of like this one too. I kind of like this too. I'll change the hair color though. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one. And let's choose an eye shape. Um, it's either going to be this one or this one. Yeah, I like that. Let's go with brown eyes and the nose. <laughs> A lot of very interesting choices. Um, let's go with this. And lips. I like that. And let's choose this purpley color. And what's your name? It is Melanie. M E L E N E. And the letter V. And what should we call the island name? How about Aronia? Uh, that name has absolutely no meaning whatsoever. <laughs> it's just a name. And we'll create our character. A long time ago, everything went south. Almost everybody was forced to move to South City. The people of South City lived cold and miserable lives. You were born here. Most people have no desire to leave. But you do more than anything. And you might have found a way out. Help wanted, looking for a young, oh, not everything is rendering for some reason. You leave for Aronia today. So we're gonna take an air balloon to Aronia. And off we go. We are now flying over Aronia and we'll be landing shortly. All passengers, please prepare to leave the airship. Oh, it's not an air balloon, it's an airship. Got it. Looks like we've landed. I'll tell you what. I'm so glad you decided to accompany me on this adventure, Melanie V. I was starting to think no one in South City was brave enough to join me. When you were the first and only person to respond to my ad, I knew you were the right person for the job. Oh dear, look at old Fletch waffle on. Let's get cracking. I'll see you outside, okay? Okay. Wow. Smell that fresh air. I'll tell you what, it feels good to finally be back on Aronia. Now, Melanie B, I'm going to need your help getting settled, okay? I'll give you this base tent. Take your time and find a good place for it. It'll be like our town hub. Take this map as well. If you have any questions, please just ask me. I haven't been back to Aronia for a very long time, but I think I can still be helpful. She's embarrassed. I'll be waiting by the stock until you set up the base tent. 
So if you get lost, just check your map to find the dock again. Good luck, Melanie B. Uh, so we got a base tent. And we got the map. Okay, let's go. Oh. Okay, um. We have to swim to get to where we can place our tent. Hopefully we don't get eaten, because I think I see a crocodile over there. <laughs> oh, oh boy, I'm drowning. How do I get out of the water? Okay, there we go. <laughs> So, I don't want to go too far. Um, how about... Can I go right here? There's this stuff in the way though. Uh, let's put it right here. Oh boy. I can't get it centered. That that will have to do. So we placed the base tent. So did Pledge have to like swim across to get here too? So this is where you decided to build, huh? It's absolutely perfect. Our new home here on Aronia. Thank you so much for setting up the base tent. Oh, and guess what? I actually have a tent for you too. And she starts to laugh. I know it's not much, but it will be a place you can call home. Now, there is plenty of room to spread out here on Aronia. So please take your time to place your tent. You'll probably be visiting the base tent of Pier Bed. So keep that in mind while you are looking for a spot to claim as your own. Okay, so I should get something close by. I'll be inside the base and getting things ready. Okay, come speak to me once you've placed your tent. Okay, so we have a tent now for ourselves. Where are we going to place it? Um, I don't want to go too far. Uh, how about right no here? What is that sound? Okay, I'm placing it right here. Oh, we destroyed a tree. Okay, um, I guess we destroyed a tree. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else. Oh, let's collect some stuff. Okay, we got some yellow wattle flower and some logs. Okay, let's go back to Fletch. Hello, Fletch. You found a good place for your tent? I know it's not much, but I hope you like your new home. I'll tell you what, you've got the spark, Melanie B. You see, most people back in South City are scared of leaving. There is something about that place that pulls the spark out of people. But I'll tell you what, we certainly aren't the first to leave. Have you ever heard of the traveling trader, John? I have not. I'll tell you what, he's a bloody legend. <laughs> Rumor is he traded a paperclip for a steamboat once. Trading is in his very blood. John got in contact with me before we left South City. He's interested in visiting with his sh shop here. I'll tell you what, we can't miss an opportunity like this. I reckon we get this visiting site deed ready for him. That way, we'll have a place ready for any visitor who come to Aronia. 
I'll let you decide where the best place for this visiting site to eat is. Just be sure it's close by. We want visitors to feel like part of the Aronia community while they are here. Who knows, maybe we can convince them to set up a permanent shop here. Be sure to talk to me once you have placed the visiting site deed. Okay. So we got the visiting site deed and we just need to set it up. Okay, I just want to change my settings. How do I do that? Uh, settings. No, I don't want that. Okay, I'm not sure how to change the setting, but we want to place the visiting site deed and it's going to be close by. So let's set it right here. Is this a good place with a visiting site deed? Sure it is. Okay, we'll let Fletch know we did it. So we're all set for visitors, huh? Well done, Melanie B. We've only been here for a little while, but you've achieved so much already. You remind me of my father. He was born right here on Aronia, you know. He was a true blue adventurer through and through. He loved doing new things and keeping track of all his milestones in his adventurer's journal. I wanted to come here and try and meet those milestones myself. But I'm getting a bit long in the tooth. Please, I want you to take this adventurous journal. Please keep good care of it. This is your adventure now. Okay, so we got adventurous journal. Okay. That journal means a lot to me, but I think my dad would be glad someone like you is looking after it. But I have a challenge for you, Melanie V. I want you to try and beat my father's milestones. Some of these milestones are going to take a long time to complete, but there's no hurry. I'm also going to add daily tasks to the journal. These will be smaller milestones that should be easy to complete in just one day. Now for the good part. Okay, for every milestone you surpass, you'll be rewarded with permit points. I'll tell you what, you're going to want a lot of permit points eventually. But we can talk more about that tomorrow. For now, check out the journal. I think you'll find that you've actually completed some of the milestones inside. So be sure to claim them. Now, are you hungry? I am. I think it's just about lunchtime. She starts to laugh again. <laughs> I've seen fruit growing around this island and that sounds tasty. You go and find us some fruit. When you get back, I will show you how to craft a campfire. Okay, so we gotta go find some fruit. But there's this log we can collect. So I'm gonna take that. Oh, here's a fruit tree. Okay. Bush lime. Okay, is there more fruit trees? Oh, there's another one right here. And what else is over here? There's more logs. I'll grab these. I love foraging. Oh, another tree. What is that noise? Is that like a bug? Oh, gosh. This is like a mosquito. Creeps me out. <laughs> what was that? Okay, some more of those flowers. Um. 
Um, where is the tent? Okay, found it. I thought I was lost for a second. Okay. There certainly is a... Oh! Did that thing just attack me? I'm just minding my own business and a little dog just attacked me. <laughs> okay, well, we have got a lot of wood. And we can pour it on the beach as well. Okay. We probably should be getting back. But there's all this stuff to find. I can't resist foraging. Um, let's go across the water again. We'll swim across. And more forage to be found. Are there any other trees over here? Okay, I probably should get back and learn how to make that campfire. But all this forage keeps distracting me. Oh, there's another piece of wood. I'll take that. Okay, let's try jumping across. Nope, can't jump across. <laughs> I guess that's a pretty long way though. Uh, where is the tent? Uh-oh, I think I might be lost. Oh, I see the tent. It's fine. I'm not lost. But I also see what over here that I need to get. I think I might be a bit of a hoarder when it comes to forage. <laughs> I love collecting it. Look at all these butterflies. Okay, let's get this last piece of wood and we'll head back to see Fletch. Hey Fletch. Oh, you found something to eat? Eating food will help keep your energy up. Here is a recipe for a campfire. I found these stones earlier, so you can use these to craft your campfire. You'll have to find some wood yourself though. Oh, no worries, I found tons of wood. Feel free to use the crafting table in the base tent to craft a campfire. Take your time, Melanie V. When you're done, come and have a chat with me. I have a gift for you. Ooh, I love gifts. So I got three pieces of stone and a recipe for a campfire. Okay, so there's a few things we can make. We can make a rock path, crude fence, campfire, a wooden torch, cooking table, and crafting table. Okay, let's go with the campfire. Look how much logs I've got. Okay, so we got the campfire. I'm very impressed with the work you've done here today, Melanie V. I think there is a great future for us all here at Aronia. Here is a gift for helping me out so much. It's a budget. Yes! I think you should take the rest of the day off. Maybe you can go catch some of the bugs around here. Or maybe you can cook some of that fruit you found. I will figure it out. Oh, and before I forget, take this sleeping bag too. When you get tired, pop that on the ground and have a lay down. I'll tell you what, a good night's rest will do us both good. Thanks for your help today, Melanie V. I can't believe we are on Aronia. I couldn't have done any of this without you. Okay, so now we have a bug net. Okay, so I am going to go catch some bugs. Um, bug net. Uh, how do I get my inventory up? <laughs> right, like this. Let's put that here and we'll put the fruits over there. 
Okay, now we got the bug net out. Oh, I've got another fruit tree here. Okay. Oh, I see a bug. I see a bug. I'm gonna get you. No, I'm not. There we go. We got a blue moon butterfly. Oh gosh, that bug sound is so creepy. I hate it. <laughs> Oh, got another bug. A Scarlet Jezebel Butterfly. Okay, more bugs, please. Mm. Oh, was that kangaroo about to attack me? I think it was. <laughs> Okay, where are all the bugs at? I need more bugs, please. Maybe they don't show up at the beach. Maybe I have to go where there are trees and flowers. Oh, here's some. Another Scarlet Jezebel butterfly. And a Ulysses butterfly. But there's a fruit tree here. Oh, let's get some fruit. Oh, there's a spider. I wonder if it's a poisonous spider. I caught a funnel web spider. Okay, that sounds interesting. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, <laughs> that's taking forever. <laughs> it's like it's not even real. Another blue moon butterfly. Oh, another spider. Okay, I hope I can sell these things. And there we are, he was this butterfly. What is this? But here's another fruit tree. There's actually quite a bit of fruit trees so far. Okay. I think I might be all forged out in this region. Mm, let's do a little foraging on the beach. Okay, we're good there. Here's another log. There's a couple of crocodiles over here. Scary. <laughs> okay, got some more fruit. Okay, um, let's look at our tasks. Complete daily tasks, play sleeping bag and get some rest. That's the daily task, that's it? That sounds pretty easy. Oops. Uh, actually, I won't. I'll put this away instead. So, if I just place it, that will complete a task. I guess we can do that. I'm just going to rest my eyes. How long do you rest your eyes for, though? Or do I decide when to get up? So I can see my heart and my energy. I'm not sure if either of those are being refilled whilst I'm sleeping. It doesn't look like it, but it could just be that it's going so slowly. Okay, let's get up. 
How do I get up? Okay. I'll talk to Clutch again. We've done some good work today, Melanie Lee. Take the rest of the day off. We've got more work to do tomorrow. Okay. Okay, let me grab my sleeping bag. Okay. I'll get the bug net back out. These birds, they keep confusing me and I want to catch them. Okay, so I got some meat and some bone. That's kind of interesting. Um, where are the bugs though? Yes, a blue moon butterfly. Ah, uh, what was that? I didn't see it. Oh my gosh, bugs. Annoying bug. It's like the mosquito, that incessant noise that mosquitoes make. Right by your ear. It freaks me right out. Okay. Oh, I see another butterfly. I want to get it. Another Ulysses butterfly. Okay. Some more meat and a bone. Where is that coming from exactly? It's... Oh, bug time. If I can catch it. <laughs> Another blue moon. Ah, those birds. You're confusing me. Stop fluttering around like a butterfly. Okay. I should probably stop foraging now. <laughs> I'm getting very far away from my tent. And I don't even know how to get back. Okay. Must be. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's another fruit tree. Okay, I think we should head back to our tent. And I'll get the sleeping bag, please. Right here should be good. Sure. And let's go to sleep for the night. Okay, so year one, Sunday, the first of summer, and we caught a bunch of bugs. So we leveled up our bug catching, so that's level one now. And our foraging is also at level one. Nice. Actually, level two. <laughs> Can we do three? Yep, we're at level three now. And dinks earned. Uh, we earned none. No dinks. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's going to be it for this first episode. Thank you very much for watching.